This episode of the Sloopcast is brought to you by the Mad Canadian Barbecue Company. Mad Canadian Barbecue Company is an Ohio-based company where they say our seasoning will take your barbecue from good to great. Mad Canadian will be at the OLC Shrine Cafeteria in Cary, Ohio this Thursday, October 14th from 4 to 7 o'clock. And this Sunday over at the Finley Crafted Nano Brewery from 11 to 6 o'clock. And that's off of off of Tiffin Avenue in Finley, Ohio. Be sure to get some of that sweet old delicious Mad Canadian barbecue food again this Thursday and Sunday. Be sure to head up his social medias for more information about him and his food truck. Mad Kenny Barbecue Company, the official barbecue of the Cary High School Blue Devils. This episode of the Sloopcast also brought to you by the Iron Bean Coffee Company. Iron Bean Coffee Company is a premium small batch roast to order veteran owned Ohio based Fresh roast to order, world class, hand roasted, uh, fair trade certified, USD organic coffee company. Uh, integrity is at the core value of everything they do. Uh, integrity is what you do when no one else is looking. You can rest assured that if you're buying beans from the Iron Bean Coffee Company, that your beans are being handled, purchased, shipped, roasted, all of those things with the utmost care and integrity. From the farmer to them, from them to you, your beans are being handled correctly and fairly and safely. And like I said, with integrity, Uh, if you know anything about coffee beans and sort of the conditions that they're sometimes grown and harvested under, you understand why this is so important, especially considering some of the parts of the world where, where these things come from. So again, morally and integrity and with integrity in mind, your everything's being done correctly, rest assured, when you buy your beans from the Iron Bean Coffee Company. And not only does all of that integrity go back to the farmers, it's also then delivered to you, the customer. Everything will be handled correctly. You can rest assured. You can rest easy knowing that. So find your new favorite coffee over at ironbeancoffee.com. That is Iron Bean Coffee, America's local coffee roaster. Gangland and Matthew down in the chat. Uh, I think we got a couple others too, but those are the two showing up uh, in my, in my recents, <laughs> in my recents down here. We got some YouTube people uh, in the audience, YouTube people. If you ever want to uh, join that live chat down there, um, Patreon, patreon.thesleepcast.com uh, as little as $3 a month. And you get to join those, right, Jared, those crazies down there. We got a lot of games to get to chaotic weekend. So let's get into it. Kyle wants to start the show. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> We've got barbecue back here. You're all invited. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? Doing pretty well. How are you doing today, Jared? Uh, I'm... You know, Bama lost. So, I mean, not to be a hater, except to totally be a hater, Bama lost. <laughs> All right. Crazy weekend. Team Chaos Feast. ripping more souls this weekend here. It wasn't it wasn't about quantity. There were there weren't a lot of upsets this weekend, but we did we did get at least one high quality one. You know, uh, Team Chaos didn't eat frequently, but he ate well. So mm-hmm. there's that. It could could have could have had more. Could have had desserts, but did not. Did not here. So let's 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 go ahead and pull up your our board here, Jared. Let's do that. We're gonna go ahead. And go, we're gonna go ahead and go through our our rankings here. Um, this is where we go. Our, this is where we're going to go ahead and rank our teams from S being being contenders to win the national title all the way to F to are they going to win next week? <laughs> so as Jared's get that situated and I'm going to move this over here. All right. So let's let us talk about the first the game here, Jared. Uh, I don't. I don't think we need to touch touch them at all. Coastal Carolina 
handles Arkansas State 52 to 20. Still undefeated here. I think they I think you just keep them right where they're at in the B tier. Well, so in your mind, what do they have to do to move up to A? I don't think they can. I really can't. I really don't think they can with the schedule that they have here. Maybe they continue doing this and they win by 30 points every game and including their conference championship going in perfect, perfect season, marginal by 30 plus points, maybe then go to the A, but the, the competition just does not suit them. I mean, you, you got a team, they're playing, they're playing Arkansas State where they beat them by 32 and you have Ohio State beating Maryland by 49 points. Yeah, I, I, I hear you. Um, before, okay. before we get too much further down that road, let's let's lock out the Big Ten games first. All right, sure. Uh, let's see here. Michigan State beats Rutgers thirty-one to thirteen. Rutgers kind of held in a little, er, held it, held on to Michigan State early on, but man, Michigan State. I mentioned this on Monday's episode towards the end, but Michigan State having an offense. Yeah, they they passed for yeah. they they passed for over three hundred yards. Their running back had over 200 yards and they, and their red receiver wide receiver had over 200 yards reception too. Yeah. Sparty have an offense this year? Question mark. Uh, one of the problems you might have when you're Sparty and you're going up against a better team is going to be, you have a good running back and you have a good wide receiver what happens when you play against teams that have the talent to scheme effectively against what's not necessarily a depth of talent at Michigan state right now. Mm -hmm. I don't, just keep, just keep an eye on Sparty. I'll just say that. So I, right. I, did, uh, I did not have them as a team to talk about. Do you want to consider moving them up to a, just keep them at B right now. Okay. Keep them at B. I know they're undefeated. I know they've looked, Pretty good here. I just got to keep them at B for let's, right let's now. They're, they're on happens. the verge of A. They're on the verge of A in my mind, but keep them at B. Let's keep see if they can knock B. off a Penn State or a Michigan. Uh, let's see how they perform against Ohio State. We'll we'll see what happens. Yeah, not not touching that one, Stewart. Uh, <laughs> Wisconsin shutting out Illinois twenty four to nothing. I, I don't know about Wisconsin. I mean. They did what they needed to here. Shut out Illinois, but when they play tougher competition, they just they're just not the same Wisconsin where you're used to seeing in the 2010s. I agree. So I I just keep them where they're at. I think they're at C. Maybe they moved up to C plus, but keep them at C right we now. Have, we don't have a C plus. I know. Uh, let's see. The team up north escaping Nebraska. 32 to 29. I, I thought the Cornhuskers were going to win this one here. I thought the yeah. fans were going to be storming the field here. Yeah. <sighs> they remind me a lot like Oklahoma. They're, they're escaping. They escape um, team chaos grasp this week here. Kyle, do we consider, I think Nebraska is playing so much better now than they were like in the beginning parts of September. Do we consider moving Nebraska up to at least a D at this point? Yeah, I like, I'd probably move them up to a D. They are, I mean, they, I have to pull them up here, but I remember reading an article about Nebraska where like they're just a couple of plays away from only having like one or two losses, like yeah. a loss this year. It yeah. it really reminds yeah. me of them, I think it was two years ago, maybe it was last year. I don't know, COVID. Uh or they, or they were just a play or a possession away from winning a game. That it's again this year with Nebraska. So yeah, move them up to D for me. The other game here, Jared, Iowa and Penn State. Iowa struggled in the first half, found some rhythm, and ended up with a victory over Penn State, twenty-three to twenty, which was just the cover there for Iowa, which was a two and a half point cover. If Clifford doesn't have to leave this game, Penn State wins. I will go to my grave believing that I will not hear any arguments 
to the contrary. Penn State was the better team here until they couldn't throw the ball further than mm-hmm. five yards down the field. Uh, yep. How how you don't have your backup quarterback at least kind of ready is beyond me because, Mm -hmm. and I'm not knocking the kid. I know nothing about the kid. He wasn't ready for that situation. He was not prepared for that situation. And some of that, especially like this is not Clifford's first season at Penn state. How do you not have your backup quarterback ready? Cause he wasn't, he was not even kind of ready. Uh, it was it was a travesty uh, what happened with Penn State. So one, yep. if Clifford stays healthy, they win that game. Two, Penn State was completely ill prepared for anything to happen to Clifford. Yep. So with with what your rankings here, I see you have Penn State and Iowa off to the side here to to rate them. And I say you keep them right where they're at. You keep them at A there. Now you can you can argue Penn State depending on the injury with their quarterback. But right now, I keep I keep them both at A. They're both top ten worthy teams right now. Maybe, maybe <sighs> when when your offense, yeah, I agree. when your offense I, is going into this week was your offense is ranked one hundred and twenty second. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Okay. I, I I was just having some fun with you. I agree. Okay. All right, and then Ohio State, keep them at A there. And yeah. then Maryland, I think wherever you have Maryland, D, I think you keep them, you keep them at D there too. So that's, that's all the Big Ten teams there. Uh, the rest had, the, rest had the, the week off. So let's get into some of the national games here, Jared. Uh, uh, yeah, you already here. talked about Coastal Carolina. Cincinnati did their thing against Temple. Uh, those are both Friday games. A third Friday game of significance was Arizona State. I, I, Kyle, I didn't watch any of this game. I'm an adult, and it was it kicked off at 10:30 on a Friday night, and I I I I, I saw none of this game. I tried, fell asleep pretty early. I, th- so, I thought this would have been it. I thought this would have been a little closer game, but Stanford just being Stanford where they show up one week and they won't the next week here. Yeah. Arizona state takes care of things 28 to 10 there. I, I just, I'm yeah. not a fan of either of these teams. I, I probably keep Arizona state at C. Are uh, they're still, they're still a decent can, team. Can, I mean, can they're, we have they're, they're Can we have the conversation? Arizona state. Only one loss on the year unbeaten in conference. They lost their, their loss came in week one. I mean, I'm just I'm tossing it out there. Could we consider uh, Arizona State at B? Uh, let's see here. They chat. Beat, I got a. They match. beat Southern Utah. They beat UNLV. They, they their losses to BYU, which we'll get to here soon. Beat Colorado. Beat UCLA. Beat Stanford. Uh, yeah, I, I guess you could put them in B. I mean, from our cup, from what we classifies B as a conference uh, contender, a conference title contender. Yeah, I guess, I guess you would put Arizona State as a B tier then. All right. Uh, our chat, I, I don't think is going to be happy. Ab- oh, yeah. No, the chat is not happy about this decision, Kyle. Guys, B is not. It, it, you don't you have two lost Florida at B. Don't B is not that prestigious. It's fine. All right. All right. I'll, I'll keep getting slapped here for the rest of the, uh, <laughs> for the rest of the uh, episode here, but we're going to move on to, we're going to move on here. Florida takes care of business. We're not going to talk about them. Ole Miss and Arkansas, good old SEC shootout here. 52 to 51. Yeah, I, I, I still stand completely firm on my opinion that both of these teams are insanely overrated. Neither of these teams are top 20 teams. Uh, I don't they, they don't belong. They, they don't belong. Um, yep, I, I, I agree. Wherever you have them, just keep them where they're, they're, at. they're both think. at sea, which I still feel is appropriate. I didn't move them over to the right to talk about. Sounds good. 
Uh, oh, by the way, scary. we already covered Rutgers. Um, do we consider dropping Rutgers down to a D at this point? Yeah. Three straight yeah. losses. Drop, drop them down to D. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Texas, Jared. Stanford. Texas. By the way, we already talked about Stanford. Stanford, Stanford goes down to D. Stanford right. goes down to D as well. I agree. All right. All right. Texas, Jared. Texas. We'll get into after our ad break. Oh, that's a tease. Kyle's a All right. professional. That's a tease. <laughs> All right. Mancini Barbecue Company. I'll go ahead and lead us off here. Mancini Barbecue Company will be out twice this week. This Thursday, October 14th, over at the OLC Shrine Cafeteria, 4 to 7 o'clock. And that is in Cary, Ohio, 4 to 7. So come hungry. Don't make any dinner plans. Head on out. Get some good old barbecue from the Mad Canadian. Or head on out to Finley and head on over to the Crafted Nano Brewery this Sunday from 11 to 6 p.m. So throw away your lunch plans and your dinner plans this Sunday and head on over to the Crafted Nano Brewery for some of that sweet, sweet, good old Mad Canadian barbecue food. Uh, forget, forget everything I said here. Go ahead and check out the Mad Canadian for more information, times, and update anything the Mad Canadian throws at you on Facebook or Twitter. Mad Canadian Barbecue Company for the official barbecue of the Cary High School Blue Devils. This episode of the Sloopcast is also brought to you by the Iron Bean Coffee Company. Kyle, hidden away on the website is the exotic coffees. These are all limited edition, so if any of these sound good, get them while you can. Because you might not get a second chance. For example, there's the Tanzanian pea berry. Um, it is uh, beans are have intensely concentrated orange and lemon citrus notes, with a lighter body, um, and they're larger than normal cousins. Um, big taste from small beans. Uh, let's see, we have the monsoon Malabar. Um, this is, uh, let's see, in terms of specific flavors, drinkers can expect strong, smoky, spicy, and earthy notes, as well as malty sweetness, the full-bodied nature of the coffee results, in it coating the mouth, mouth and tongue. Uh, then there's the Guatemalan Antigua. I might be mispronouncing that one. Um, you have uh, flavor notes of honey and apple, uh, maybe some tea, some floral, brown sugar, um, kosher certified, uh, Rainforest Alliance certified. Um, and I just accidentally closed that tab. So there's a fourth one. Uh, let's see. Reopen and close tab. There we go. Uh, nope, that's OK. There's a fourth one, but I, I lost it. So you're going to have to. You know what? That's a teaser. You got to go to the website and find out the fourth one yourself. Just go to ironbeancoffee.com and go to the exotics tab. Uh, or yeah, tab or whatever section of the website. So uh, that and a bunch of other coffees. Uh, go find your next favorite coffee over at ironbeancoffee.com. That is Iron Bean Coffee, America's local coffee roaster. All right, Kyle, where are we, where are we going next? Texas here. Texas. Uh, Texas. Texas was up at halftime. Heck, even before that, they were up. 35 to 17. Okay, heck, even 38 to 20 at halftime here, seven. and they blew it. They blew it against Oklahoma. And Oklahoma comes back to win at 55 to 48 in another Big 12 shootout. Yeah. Um, why Oklahoma continues to mess around with, with Rattler, I'll never understand. He's a turnover machine. He does good things, but he he's one step forward, two steps back. As far as I'm concerned, his attitude is crap. He's the the only comp I have for Rattler right now is 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 Tate Martell. Uh, I, I I don't know I don't know what Oklahoma's doing right now. Um, they 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 put their young guy in, and they need to let him. Uh, he's I forget his name, but five star freshman let just it's time to hand the reins over uh they look like a competent yet yeah, williams thank you Stuart. Caleb um, williams 
they look like a competent football team with him at the helm, um, which might be a concern for everyone else because I think Oklahoma, like I've been saying for weeks, has been on a tight wire, on a high wire, and they're just going to lose eventually. But maybe they have a brighter future with a new quarterback who, like I said, doesn't take them two steps back for every step forward he takes them. Mm-hmm. So that's yep. a bad news for everyone who's not Oklahoma. If Oklahoma finally learns their lesson and, and makes the correct step forward. Yep. So I think you keep everybody where they're at. Uh, maybe Texas. Yeah. Oklahoma, yeah. keep them at B Texas. have a hard time putting them in C right now. Yeah. They got close to beating Oklahoma there. But man, it's it's tough for me to say yes, Texas should go to C. Uh I I'm I, I vote to move him up to C. All right. All right, fine. I, I, I can't disagree with you. Their Matthews two losses on- are to Arkansas and Oklahoma, and they've taken and they've won all the other games this year. Okay, well, Matt, Matthew supports my decision. Stewart does not. So, all right. All right, let me get back here. All right, next game here. Wake Forest, a win over, win in overtime over Syracuse, 40 to 37. Kyle, hear me out. Wake Forest, move them up from a C immediately to S tier. Nope. <laughs> C is fine. Maybe time to move him up to it. It's no. fine. Yeah. It's they're still undefeated, but man. But they're the crown I, jewel I have of a hard the time ACC right them now, up. Kyle. They're the crown jewel of the ACC right now. They are. But you know what? They're going to have, I think they're going to struggle next week. They struggled they get this fight. week against Syracuse. And they did the week before that against Louisville. Where would I think they're going to struggle. They're going to struggle a third straight week here as they they get to go on the road and face the army. Matthew uh, down in our live chat said uh, they'd be a middle of the road team in the American Conference. And I don't I, I, I don't know how to say that that's wrong. Kyle, is the American better than the ACC right now? Because. Yeah. Because they, I listen, I'm not saying that they are, but I'm saying the fact that you didn't immediately say no says a lot. Let's see here. The American has two ranked teams and the, and the ACC has two ranked teams. Who has the best team? Well, that's Cincinnati. Uh Uh-huh. Listen, I'm not saying I'm saying. I, all right, listen, all right, the all fact right, I'm just right. saying, all I'm saying, Kyle, is the fact that we didn't immediately say no to that. Yeah, is insane. Right, let, I, I love to. I love to the conversation. Have this discussion more, but we we need to move on to to the other games here. Georgia just doing everything they want to against Auburn, thirty four to ten. Georgia stays where they're at. Auburn, they stay at a D tier D team. I, I don't know why they were ranked to begin with earlier in the season they just should not have belonged there at all auburn just absolutely stinks this year they stay in the d tier yeah which hurts penn state penn state took yes, two it, l's this week yep uh so yep auburn can stay d there uh boise state here comes team chaos boise boise state beats byu 26 to 17 Kyle, I moved Boise up into the D tier. We previously didn't have them positioned at all. Um, mm-hmm. I did that off camera because I don't necessarily want to debate whether Boise is a D or a C or whatever. Um, but the question here is, what what do we do with BYU? We had them in the B tier. Does this loss move them out of the B tier? Were they so solidly in the B tier that they can remain in the B tier? Or do they drop down to C? Yeah. I I'm going to go with what chat's saying here um, with Matthew. I think they go to down to C. Because uh, ultimately, who have they beaten? 
Uh, you're gonna have me look it up. No, here. it's I, uh, I already I already know that it's no and impressive. They yeah. they were unbeaten. Are they 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 did beat Arizona State and Utah this year, but. It, I, I know it was Arizona State in, in week one. Um, I, I understand that. I, I don't think that was Arizona State at their best. Um, oh, Stuart, stop it. <laughs> we could All give right. them a B still. Yeah, no, they, they can stay at C there. Okay. Notre Dame. I knew this was going to be a tough one here. Knew this was going to be a tough one. I had had a couple of Virginia Tech fans uh, that I work with, and they they were talking to me about. It. I said, "Hey, what do, you, what do you think about this weekend?" I said, "I think you guys might have a shot here. Notre Dame's just struggling this year. It's a night game. It's at your guys's place. There, there's a chance you guys can pull it off, and they almost did. Notre Dame escapes a win in Virginia Tech, thirty-two to twenty-nine. Kyle, Virginia Tech is currently a C tier." which I, uh, is where they belong. I think Virginia Tech's a solid C-tier team. Um, I have no doubt about that. So the question is, if they're, just as, if they're just as good as Notre Dame, and if Notre Dame's just as good as they are, does that mean Notre Dame should also be a C-tier team? It's, it's tough. You, you just said it yourself before the game. I know. You said it yourself. I know. That you you said they had a shot. You uh-huh. thought they were equals before the game. After the game, we have on field evidence furthering suggesting that they are equals, which means they should both be on the same tier. We both agree that Virginia Tech is solidly a C tier team. What does that make Notre Dame? I have a hard time. Yeah, I understand where you're going with this, Jared, and I don't like it. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I, I think I, I, it's not going. I went there. We already <laughs> arrived. Uh, yeah, I, I I agree with what Matthew's saying. I don't think Notre Dame's as good as the teams that's in that B tier, Florida, even even Arizona State. He said that they are, are as good. Too. But he said I think Notre Dame. I, but is I, as I mean, good. we're we're already proven that Notre Dame manhandled wisconsin who we have as a c tier no they there. didn't that game was even i understand the final score is what the final score was but that was well, an I, even I'm gonna football leave, game. I, i'm gonna leave it up to i'm gonna leave it up to chat and you jared because i feel i feel i feel that i'm gonna get a lot of hate or it more hate than <laughs> than already for today i'm gonna leave i'm gonna leave it with um you and chat where you think Notre dame should go I think they're a C tier team. Is is chat is chat good with that? Do you think Notre Dame has dropped from a B to a C tier? We have a B and a tough call, Kyle. I'm. I, I I'm, think they should still be like right where Jared has them, just at that very edge of B, teeter tottering right on to C there. Oh, I I think y'all are B. So now who's the southern one? Y'all are Jared going with the y'all over here. I I think you guys are in love with the uniforms and the history and the name. And I think I think you're being fooled by the laundry. That's what I think. I think okay. I think you're being fooled by the laundry. You're giving them more respect than the on field product deserves. Right. I, I, right, I this on. is my protest of Notre Dame remaining in B. Moving on. <laughs> All right. Um Let's see. We talked about the uh, Kentucky. Wow, I, way, I did not uh, even see this game. Kyle. Wow, Kentucky Kyle. just destroyed LSU. LSU's garbage. Uh, Coach O might so, not make it to the end of the season. Real quick, man, though. Do you move Kentucky up? Do you move Kentucky up to the B tier? I well, I moved them over here for conversation as a result. But before we do that, we we kind of glossed over Cincinnati. Cincinnati's still A tier. Do we maybe consider moving yeah. them to S? I keep them. I keep them at A. I agree. I keep them at A. Okay. Kentucky. I think we should have a conversation <laughs> with them as a B tier team. Yeah, I, I think so. I th- I think you move Kentucky up to a B. As crazy as it is, Kentucky, a football, 
a football uh, Listen, university no, here? They're they're going to play some actual football teams here soon on their schedule. Yeah. You, you want to know who they play next, Jared? Who? They play Georgia. Yeah. So <laughs> I tell you what, I'll leave them. At, if they have a respectable game against Georgia, I'll leave them at B tier. I will. Because they should lose that game. S tier to B tier, they should lose that game. If they look respectable, I'll leave them there. Now, if they look yeah. like they don't belong on the field, then then we'll have a different conversation. But all right, all right. Uh, next game here. Oh, oh. Uh, by the way, uh, we did you say leave Auburn where they are? Yep, Auburn's bad. Leave them where they're at. Well, Baylor. We move them up. I don't. I just we weren't going to move them up. They they may have moved down. Yeah, the no, they they just stay where they just stay where they're at. Okay. Uh, you have you have a bunch of other ones. Uh, Baylor. Uh, looking at the scoreboard here, real quick here. Baylor. Yeah, Baylor lost to West. No, oh no, excuse me. They beat West Virginia forty-five to twenty. I. I, th- I think you, you keep them right where they're at there. I just, I don't, I'm not, I don't like Baylor as a C, as a C team there. I, I look, look at the other teams in C real quick and acknowledge to me that it's not, it's not a prestigious tier. I, I think I, I, I under- based off of their, who they've beaten. And I, I, and again, they're not great teams, but they destroyed West Virginia. A team that took Oklahoma down to the wire. Okay, all right, fine. You can move on. You can move them up to C since they did beat uh, Iowa State, and we did have Iowa State as a C tier there. Fine. You can move. You can move Baylor up to, yeah, a, again, to a C there. Let's keep in mind. I, I don't want to. I don't want to spend any more time, <laughs> any more time on Baylor there. In West Virginia, Fair where enough. you have them at the E tier there, they can remain the E tier. I agree. I don't even know why I had them out there, to be honest with you. All right, Utah. I Utah, agree with you, uh, Gangland, but you, sometimes you have to just give on-field credit credit. Utah, Utah beats USC forty-two to twenty-six. Utah had a had a bad loss to San Diego State a few weeks ago. I, I think you can. I think you can move them up to the D tier. They're they're three and two, uh, but they and, lost to San Diego State. All right, we'll move them up. We'll move them up. All right. Then the other ones you have here, uh, Tulsa. Tulsa beat Memphis 35 to 29. You keep Tulsa at the E tier. Uh, Virginia. Okay, I was trying to move Tulsa up, but Kyle says no, and we're not going to spend any more time on it. I'm, I'm not even acknowledging that. And then Virginia barely beats Louisville 34 to 33. I don't trust really Virginia all that all that much. I mean, you could probably move them up to the D tier. They are four and two. They're only two losses are to Wake Forest and UNC. The mighty which, Wake by the Forest. Way, we were which, referred by to the as way, the mighty Wake Forest. Did, by the way, Jared, I'm surprised you didn't even put this up. UNC. Do we want to drop UNC down or keep did. them at D? I already moved UNC okay. down. I did that off camera. That was that was a given. All right. They do you were C tier last stick? week. They're D tier now. Do you I move Florida State from the F to the one. E tier? Sorry, what? Do you move Florida State from the F to the E tier? No, they lost to an FCS school. Okay. You lose to an FCS school, you're in the F tier for the rest of the season, period. You, right. you are banished. Right. You are banished to the F tier for losing to an FCS school. It's it's that's non-negotiable. All right, last team here, Jared. Alabama and Texas AM. Where do you have where do you have Alabama? Uh I think you have to be unbeaten to be an S tier. I think they go down to A. I think it's that simple. Oh don't be that person, Jerry. What? They lost. They lost. They don't belong in S tier. They lost. Okay. All right. Move them down to the A tier then. I think they're one of the best teams in the A tier. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I mean, we, we classified S tier as like they have a legit shot at winning the national title. A tier is 
a, they have a realistic shot to win their conference? Uh, I, no, I think B is realistic chance to win their conference. A is realistic. Play, I think is like playoff contender. Playoff. Yes, you're right. Yes. Also, like we haven't right. we haven't exactly been sticking to those standards much this year. We just yeah. kind of we just kind of been feeling right. it then, out. And then Texas A and M move them up. I I don't know. Like they beat Bama. They they're either going to be one of the best teams in C or one of the worst teams in B. Yeah. Um, they're 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 four and two. They their best win before Alabama was Colorado. That's damning. I, I will acknowledge that that is a damning thing you just said. Who are their two losses mm-hmm. to? Arkansas and Mississippi State. Man, Mississippi State isn't anybody. Arkan- I, I have a hard... I know they just beat Bama. I have a hard time moving them out of C. I agree. Bama is not garbage gangland. Let's not be silly now. I agree. Yeah. I keep keep Texas A and M there at C. They they could move they could move up, but right now at right now, just yeah, I, I'd keep them at C. Great win. Not going not going to deny what they um, uh, what they did last weekend, but yeah, it's hard for me to move them up to a B tier. Kyle, I think the, I think that's all, I think that's list. all the I think that's all the teams there, Jared. Any other thoughts of what we've ranked this week? I don't think so. Um, maybe to give the chat a moment to, I think the chat's been looking at the at the tier list. Um, do you guys have any thoughts? Are we forgetting anybody? Um, or are we overlooking anything? Should any changes we should make? Ah, it's not true. <laughs> that is not true, Stuart. We take into account everything we see, but it's just your your a voice. You listen to me too much, Matthew says. <laughs> All right, Jared. All right, let's go ahead and move on to some questions real quick here. Okay. Uh, Nomad asks, does Jimbo get himself a 20 year old Dublin blonde oh, for his stop, win? Stop, 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 stop. Next question. <laughs> All right. Sorry. I had to throw that one in there. Uh, is Iowa a contender or a pretender? Uh, contender for what? I'm going to guess contender for. <laughs> that is a question. <laughs> that is the question. Uh contender for the Big Ten uh conference? Yes. I they're a contender, contender to win the Big Ten championship game. They're I they're on a fast track to Indianapolis. I don't think they have the pure talent to stick with Ohio State. Uh they they are not a national title contender. If they go to the playoffs, they'll get embarrassed. Uh I yeah, understand. As I mentioned before, like before before this weekend, they were ranked like around 122nd in total offense. Yeah, and Penn State proved before Clifford got hurt that their defense can just be out talented. Uh, when when mm-hmm. they start facing five star athletes, whether it be from Ohio State or from Bama or from Georgia or from whoever else they could potentially meet in the playoffs, they'll be exposed. Yep. yep. Which current top ten team is the most overrated? Uh, that would require me to actually look at the AP poll. Um, let me pull up the AP poll. I don't, I, I, people were mad about the AP poll when it came out on Sunday. Guys, the AP has as much say and influence in these decision makings as you do or as I do. It's here, it, all right. So here, here, I'll read, I'll read them real quick. So Georgia, Iowa, Cincinnati, Oklahoma, Bama, Ohio State, Penn State, Michigan, Oregon, and Sparty. Um, most overrated was it most overrated or what was the exact phrasing again yeah most overrated who's in the who's in the top 10 like i michigan is 
excuse me, Michigan State's the worst team in the Big Ten by far. Or excuse me, in the top ten by far. Um, that's that's the the least intimidating team in the top ten, in my opinion. But Iowa at number two is also silly. Um, Iowa would lose to Cincinnati, although I think it would be close. I would lose to Oklahoma, assuming Oklahoma does the right thing with their quarterback position. They'd lose to Bama. They'd lose to Ohio State. They should have lost to Penn State had Clifford not got hurt. But Iowa Iowa has the best has the best win currently in the top ten. Uh yeah, I suppose that's true. Yeah. So yeah, I agree. I think I think I think here Sparty. Yeah, I think Sparty is probably the answer here. Now, if it was last weekend, definitely BYU, but BYU lost. So, yeah. Uh, Buckeye, Buckeye Esquire, who's the worst announcer for college football games? Gary and Why is it Greg, Greg McElroy? Uh, uh, he, he's also bad, but Gary Danielson's the worst. Mm, I second that. Which ACC teams will make the championship? The None. The the ACC the, the championship, conference? the conference championship, the conference championship. Uh, hold on, let's go. Let's go find the. I, I I can't even remember who's in what. So in the Atlantic right now, the oh Atlantic. Oh my God, Kyle! Wakeforce. This is worse than we thought. Yeah, it, it's really bad. ACC is it. really bad. Kyle, your 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 leaders right your leaders right now. Wake Forest in the Atlantic and Pitt in the coastal. Well, Kyle, we have to get Pitt out of the E tier. No, no, they're still in the E tier, Jared. They're still in the E tier. They're four and one. They're they're they're, <laughs> they're a half a step behind Wake Forest. <laughs> I'm moving them up to D. It's happening. I moved Pitt up to D. You're just gonna have to live with it. Yeah, I do not agree with this. Just for the record, I do not agree with and this. And I don't think Notre Dame should be in B. We all have to make compromises sometimes, Kyle. Yeah, we don't we know who likes Mark May. All right. Uh let's see. Other don't questions you dare. here. Don't uh, you dare. Does a one loss Ohio State team make the college football playoff over an undefeated UC? And I'm gonna say yes, based off of looking at Ohio State's schedule here <clears throat> they play penn state they play michigan they play michigan state they play iowa oh all of them are in the top 10 currently right now they in their theory record play iowa. their record will sh- well, well their resume will trump anything that cincinnati does and with notre dame not looking all that great right now that's just hurting them Cincinnati, Cincinnati needs Notre Dame to win and win convincingly moving forward. They have to. If Notre Dame loses another game here, that's that's bad for Cincinnati. But that being that, be, that being said, I think both teams can both get into the playoffs. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. Uh let's see here. Uh Nomad also asks, how many times uh uh actually running short. Let me let me get a question from Buckeye Zach here. Uh, let's see. Looking ahead at Penn State, what are some key points the Buckeyes need to look out for? I, 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 I just nothing on nothing on Penn State until we find out what Clifford's health status is, because that just changes everything. A- anything mm. or every any anything revolving looking forward to Penn State, I'm just putting on pause until we find out what the deal with Clifford is, because. And again, I acknowledge that Clifford's not the perfect quarterback, but my God, they they fell apart without him. Absolutely, offensively became anemic without him. Yep. Uh, I always say that Ohio State just needs to continue getting pressure on the quarterback just because, I mean, Jared mentioned it before, Penn State has a really, really, really good wide receiver. Uh, uh, maybe just one, core. really. Yeah, I think you okay, has a really good wide receiver yeah. core here. Need to get pressure on whoever the quarterback is because you got a very young defensive back uh, crew. You got to get some help somewhere. All right, Jared. I think that's it. That's all the questions we have here, Jared. Uh, so let's go ahead and, uh, go ahead and the, head us off here. 
Uh, Stuart, who are those crystal balls? Who who put those crystal balls in? Uh, everyone, please be sure to follow us on social media or don't. We don't really care, actually. Uh, <laughs> uh, may, maybe instead, just uh, come come hang out with us in the Discord, discord.thesloopcast.com. That's where we're hanging out. Screw social media. Screw it. Just forget about it. Come ha come hang out in the Discord. Um, and if you like the Discord and you want access to the premium channels, and if you want to join these dudes down here, uh, being a bunch of chuckle fucks, uh, then you can do that by signing up at our Patre uh, Patreon uh, for as little as $3 a month. Uh, that is patreon.thesloopcast.com. Kyle, do you have anything in Kyle's corner? Um, Xavier, Jared? Yeah. Um, two, Chris, two crystal balls going to Iowa now. I, I as don't. Of, as of Sunday. Yeah, Iowa Insider, Iowa Insider. Will Fong's crystal ball is is still on Ohio State, as is a Michigan okay. Insider. Uh, not that that Michigan Insider is necessarily the best. Uh, yeah, I, I I don't care. All right, all right. Um, some quick updates here. Uh, I, I was looking at some stats for Ohio State here since I already kind of don't have too much in my corner Ohio state averaging so far this year on offense, 562 yards per game, 352 in the air, 210 on the ground and averaging 48 points per game, which ranks them the top offensive team in the, in college football through six weeks or through six games so far. Ohio state, Ohio state hitting it on all cylinders, uh, coming up through the middle of the season already. There you go. Kyle, um, once again, it is time for me to pick some music and I'm going to uh, pick a band out of Cincinnati. Their name is, Sa is Saving Escape. Uh, you can find links down in the show notes. Uh, to listen to the song we're going to play. So if you're on YouTube, you guys don't get to hear the song because of YouTube. Um, but you can click on the links down in the down in the show notes and you can listen to the song that way if you are so motivated to. So with uh, that being said, once again, this is Saving Escape. And with all of that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, support your local podcasters once again. This is the band Saving Escape. Thank you. 